Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. Here's the view from our new apricot and cherry orchards looking out over the river. Kind of cool. I'm paused right now because I don't know what's about to happen. <laughs> We're at the end of February, about to dive into March. Everyone's going to get laid off and become laborers to help with the the four fields over here and the four fields over here. Yeah, either we're going to have a, a blowout year of lots of crops or we're going to have a big disaster. I don't know which. I did limit both of them to only 10 laborers to try to spread things out because we could get, you know, 17 over here and three over there and, and that just won't work. But that's so far away, I don't know who's going to trigger to come and work here. I don't know how the distance issue works with this. So let's turn it on and find out. So we're, we just rolled into March. Nothing's going to happen immediately here because we need to plow. But we do have five workers already fired up and they're getting started. Over here though, we have slots and nobody's filling them. Okay. So while we're waiting, I'm going to run slow for a while. I did set some things in and around to kind of get the wagons to start using a, uh, a pathway a little bit lower, though I do need to do something else. Well, what have I got here? I've got a well right here, but it's not built yet, so they're going to ignore that. And a bunch of trees here and there. Um, I think I set benches in. Benches in there. Wow, you can't see them. Is that just me? I think they're buried under the ground. I think they are. <laughs> I think the hill swallowed them. Um, anyway, I did a lot of decorating between episodes, but what I did here was set up three fields, one, two, and three, that are just sunflower and buckwheat based. A set of three on a rotation of three. So that gives us a fallow field every year right here. And this one, I set it up to be food heavy. So, turns out if you potato, buckwheat, potato, buckwheat, potato, buckwheat, they're kind of the opposite, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. And you can get away with, uh, with a whole rotation of six out of that one field. So every sixth year, we're going to probably double up on this guy over here and have two fields. So that's what's happening there. Still nobody is here and nobody is planting. So no laborers. So I think this coming year our goal is to get some more housing out here. I think we're just too far away to make this functional. The idea of getting a second farm in, you know, a lot of people were calling for it and it sounds great, but you got to have the, 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 the foundation in place to be able to run them. So we'll, we'll give this another couple of weeks. A lot of people went home and they're still at home thinking about what they want to do with their lives. So eventually they'll start filling in these, these spaces. And I am running slow on purpose. Speaking of slow, is there anything else happening? We've got a cart coming in from Marifa <clears throat> to buy salt. And we've got 2,700 is reserved to leave. What am I not getting here? I don't know. Oh, that means we're loading a cart. Okay, okay, okay. So I think salt is fine. There was plenty. There's plenty for the 2,000 that's left. Is that what I'm seeing here? So 2,000 with this other 700, that should make the 2,000. That means 1,800 is left. There's 1,968. I think we're good. So I think all the salt has been brought here. And one more hundred, yeah, that makes 1868. Okay, so salt is good. All of our trades are good. Um, we're plowing fields, so we don't have any laborers even being called for yet until we're ready to sow. So this delay could still force people, or at least give this one, a child's been born, give this one the opportunity to glean from the population that is nearest and hopefully pull some in here before they all grab that, those jobs over there. But still, I'm a little worried this hasn't happened yet, even finding more employees. So I guess I'd better I'd better go to all five employees and be thankful if we get any. Yeah. Okay. Well, let that one go. Um, so again, running slow. Everyone's 
looking for jobs. They're doing the laborer thing right now. So a whole bunch of planks being brought into these guys, right? Yeah, so these hired up real quick. Uh, Boat-wise, we have one more that's in trouble. You are... I can't indicate which one you are, or can I? I'm clicking. And I can do that. If I click you, there we go. So you're the one that needs to be repaired. And you're just coming in. So hopefully when you drop out to move your 20 fish in, these guys run over there and grab that boat. Maybe? So, going to work and taking a rest. <laughs> yeah, that's the story of this game. <laughs> How many over here are taking a rest? We have three carts in use. That's the most I've ever seen. Because taking a rest and supplying resources and working. So working means... You're running. So how is working working when you're not working with a cart? I don't know. Hmm. Um, one more peek. We've got permanent workers, but we do not have the, uh, the laborers. Over here, we hired up. Boom. So there's ten over there. Yeah, another plow team is on its way in. This one is fallowed. So three fields and one fallow now. And over here, I went with two sets of, of rotations. Over here is a wheat, <clears throat> and we'll call it a textile. Got a message over here. Empty and completed. Okay, wheat, textile, wheat. And over here, the other wheat, textile, wheat. So flax in one and, and uh, hemp in the other. Over here, I went with... What did I go with? There was a lot of scratch in my head here. I went with a wheat and a barley. Thinking the barley might go well for... And, and hemp. Okay. So barley for animal feed and or eventually, I believe it's beer. Is it barley and hops? Over here, no helpers, but we did get our five workers. So they're getting something done, but most of them just went home. Yeah, we did get some workers in here to get the forestry up and going. So we can get at least some... Uh, um, firewood soon. Okay. Hmm. So, yeah, we need more housing out here, which we're just not in range. Apparently, the range is longer for workers rather than for laborers. That's my guess. This is going to be done here real soon. We're now plowed in three fields, and this one is sown. It's close. So, another wave here. Get this one done. And then everyone's going to be available. I did ask to have this one emptied so we can demolish it. So that we can set up the new um, dairy. <clears throat> now I'm working through this. Is this really where I want the dairy? Does the dairy have a distance problem? Will the sheep over here be able to come over to the dairy? Or does the dairy need to be right here? I think I won't place the dairy just yet. I'll wait for you guys to answer me on that. Um, dairy, you're close. You're right there, question mark. Uh, each batch requires at least 100 units of milk. So butter, cheese, matana, um, cows, and sheeps. Okay, that's all it's going to tell me. All right. You are on your way up. Now, some of these may fail on us as we get two or three years into this rotation. These were easy because they all started at 100%. This was an existing system. So I had to try to work into this with some crops as well as take into account the condition that they were in when I started. So year three may see some fails and a lot of fallows until we kind of get the whole system back in sync again. That's possible. All right. I'm still checking up on you guys. Nobody ever came over. Now, we still have time. We're, I'm going nice and slow. We're still in March. Let's play with killing our budget a little bit and going up to kind of extreme 140% of wages. <clears throat> and let's see if that attracts anybody. To me, if the jobs were available, they would have taken it. Period. So wages or not, they would have done it. So I don't think that there 
even possible. What do we got here? Logs. So you're angry because we don't have a second person. But you're at 18. Oh, and we only have 14. That's why you, if I went down to 12, that would go away. Okay. So I'm going to ignore it and just let them let them cuss me out for a month until we get back to April and everybody will get hired on again. But we are decreasing our staffing in March to help with the sowing and in August to help with the harvesting. Didn't help at all. Nobody's coming out here. Okay. In toward the end of April, I'll bring it back to 100% and just accept the fact that it was a it was a failed experiment. So crops are going to be pretty sparse over there, which is probably good because it's going to take a long time to harvest them too. So yeah. Okay. Well, that one wasn't the most productive use. We do have an artifact in there. Look at that. All right, so what else is happening here? We are building this last house, and we're putting in the hay barracks over there. Now, is the hay barracks what needs to be right here? That could be. Yeah, I kind of like that. Storage and storage. And the dairy could even drop in here if we wanted to, into this little triangle. Or I think it really does kind of go over here. I think in between... The two extremes is a good place for it. But let me know if those of you who have played this, if the dairy does seem to have a distance problem, like the market stalls and the small granaries and everything else that we've had trouble getting people to, to, to work distances. But hey, Barracks, let's do you. Copy you, put you over here. Now, exactly how and where. You will go there. Um, what is that, a T? It is a control R like that so you will not go in a, oh you love that spot and that is about the most perfect fit I could have ever imagined is there enough room between that and the next in the cow shed I think so it's tight but I think it'll work all right just don't tell the engineers who are going to yell at me because the snow load's going to slide off in between the two buildings and and build a a big mound of snow right there and just rot yeah so that's probably not the wisest move from a structural point of view but it looks fine okay so you guys where we are we're about to rehire again um trading is fine we checked that and one laborer katarina took advantage you're from are you matzo aren't you you know what's good for you you take it advantage of those wages you're from our poor house over here that we had to help out 850 in wages look at that oh good call so she is going to take advantage of that and Yaroslava, why don't you oh you're over here on this one okay you need to get in in uh, in in on that deal too and she probably will she just finished sowing a field she's going to be heading back home and then after a pause she'll be picking up a job too because she's in this house over here yeah so this may be the the range the very edge of what will reach these jobs which is a, another hmm you could argue it would have been better to have put this over here and just taken more time and cut more trees out put in the field over here got this guy sitting closer that might have helped out but until then, let's lay some houses out. Um, but what else is happening around the map before I spend a half hour laying out houses? Over here, we've got <clears throat> 4,500 limestone, 800 stone. Ooh. That's looking really close to the final layer there. So we need to get to 5,000. We started with charcoal, so that means we're going to end with limestone. So I think this is the end. So once that is delivered, and we did free up a lot of people to be laborers. Now, I, I didn't give you a wage bonus, did I? No. They're just doing it on their own. Okay. So, wage bonus, still just Katarina. Okay. So, let's try to remember to pop in here in... Boy, we're so close. Let me speed it up. See where we're going to actually land. Once we hit 
actually right here once we get 5,000 so we got 1200 to go okay so you came over grabbed from there went up here and dumped it here's some more no you guys work here you're bringing a bucket of it over all right we have 500 more coming that's a cart coming and Barvinkove has arrived oh whoa um wow <laughs> something just happened i don't know what it was but something just happened that's pretty much the rest of it before that happens what's happening over here we we've got just the two people right now and she's different oh yeah did you get a job here no so katharina's gone two others have jumped in to help out okay um can i do you first you are the river trader right there world map and right here oh let's see I'll, I'll run that on slow i think i can do that and not miss the burning of the limestone sheep hides uh we got 600 last time oh it's demand never mind sheep skin let's continue doing that well, we're not going to be making our own sheepskins for a while yet. So let's do, we did 600 last time. Let's do another 400. And when we find broadcloth again, we'll get an even thousand deal. Okay. And glaze, the, the consensus in the comments is that that has to do with pottery. So we ordered a thousand. We'll just let that sit. Wool, this is offers. So buckwheat, horelka, lime, iron, iron ore. I think we're good there. And there's nothing here to sell right potatoes town storage has 1300 potatoes now so they are old potatoes from last season that's right how pause how you farm potatoes they're half gone half rotted let's sell a thousand of them to make sure that they're gone before they rot so a temporary stock of potatoes 1,000 and just make you temporary and world map sell you 1,000 80 dollars 80 gold coming in deal and done okay and they're already gonna start doing that okay how are we doing here now we are at 350 left and it's already ordered okay speed you up let's see how this goes all right, another 150. She's got it. Oh, 50 more. Here it is. Here's the the one carrying the torch, Odarka, to finish off the uh, the Olympic event here and light the flame. There it goes. <laughs> and you have got a burning process, a, a a progress bar, and there it is. Something you don't want sitting next to your neighborhood, I'm assuming. Okay. And with that, how'd we do? Now we're starting to hire up. Look at that. Okay. There's everyone who took advantage of it. And now they're in April. Okay, now that's strange. Now that everyone's been rehired to go back to other places, they're filling this. I don't know what to make of that. I really don't, unless this had grabbed everyone's attention. I don't know. Okay, so we're back into here. We're calling for five workers. So we can plow through all of these and everything else we're about to lay out here. Okay, well, how did we do here? We're, we're planted, and I think we planted pretty quickly this is the last one has the least amount of growth but not by that much we're at the w first one we're just past the h so not that much of a of a difference over here you're number one you got in you're at the r you did not get planted so you're number two okay how did that happen two is there why didn't they go to here first fallow that's why okay you're number two and you're number, you're number three. 
of these three. Okay. All right. Well, they're they're working and they're gonna do their thing. Okay. Um. Second two second gear. Let's get this sped up a little bit. Boats are good. You guys can go away. You're gone. You boats are good, and they're all doing your things. Thousand salt there. Thousand salt there. The laborers did their work. Um, you, the pile is dropping down. Interesting. As the charcoal burns, we're losing mass. We should end up with a cauldron of white powder, I'm going to guess. So we got to remember to come back to here. But it is interesting that the elevation is, is lowering in here. Very authentic. I'm impressed. All right. So we need to lay out houses. We're working on this guy next. We just put the house in. And a new family is settling in our town instantly. Wow. Normally there's a little bit of a pause. And they brought beehives. Cool. Um, so we're building that guy. We are... I put in another small granary over here. Now, when I saw that they didn't sell any of their cabbage... A comment came in saying that they won't sell unless, and it's probably written here somewhere, um, cons local market, 100 units of food per year, um, somewhere in here and or in here, the small granary, it talks about how they won't buy, or the, the houses won't sell to the granary unless they have a one year supply of food. But I've also seen them sell if they have over a certain number of quantity. Meaning they keep their first hundred or something. I don't know what the number actually is. So I thought it was a possibility they didn't sell because it's a long walk out to, is it here? Yeah, that's the small granary that's closest now. We may be out of range for these houses over here. When the granaries were right over here, that would probably have been in range, but we've gone a little further trying to centralize ourselves to that neighborhood and this neighborhood and what's going to be this neighborhood. So it may be that this would have sold a little bit and add a little more to their wealth had they been able to reach that roof way over there. So I thought it might be wise just to prove myself wrong by placing a, where are you? There. A small granary in here and get that built and so I've got uh, trees one tree being taken out hopefully somebody's working on that I would expect you guys are where am I you guys so yep there they go running over there to take that tree down chop 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 boom <laughs> off they go and the other team should be in there to grab that log too yeah well Got it. Got two teams of two here. Yep. There's the other team. No, you're just sitting there taking a break. Never mind. Anyway, so that one's going to go in next, and then we're into the sheep farm. Now that we have a a field, a fallow field to rotate into. You guys are always complaining. Why is that? Because we're having a hard time getting workers out here, even though we're calling for five. Okay. So you can take, well, yeah, your one log that you got has already been turned into firewood. Uh, completed the big haystack. You are ready to handle, I assume that it's already set to 7,000. Yeah. And we could set up Carter in there and we could put in just as a quick bonus because, well, we're not in the right season to see if these guys are going to ever get any laborers. Um, we're still working on this one. We're still in April. It's not going to be a great crop, but we're going to get something in there. But we could move, say, 1,000 just to see it done. Move resources by wagon and pause because by cart because I just realized I wanted to see the, uh, the lime kiln. But let's move 1,000 to here just to get some seed hay into there all right so where are we at we finished burning is complete and we've got 
10,000 or so quick lime in here, which is going to get transferred to here. Uh, we'll put two workers in. And what do we know about this? We need water. We have that. Do we need to set any numbers? Now we'll leave it stocked, but we could hire some laborers and give them something to do. And let's put in by Carter too, just just for fun. And they'll start moving this over here and creating lime, which then needs to be stored. So you're taking 10,000 charcoal. Let's put into you 10,000 lime. I don't think there's anything else needed here, right? You go out and get the limestone and the stone. You take charcoal and the limestone. You take and make quick lime, which comes directly out of here into here to make lime to go into there. I think it works. Okay, lime. And we'll just drop 10 grand in there and see how that goes. All right, so you're up and running. Is there anything else for me to be taking a look at? I did go through and planted fruit trees all along our path out here, put benches out, put some trees in along the, uh, the entrance of this bridge. I put trees all around inside of these buildings and around them, but they all take uh, foresters to plant. And our foresters are a little busy. So it's possible that it's going to be a while before this all starts to, to fill in for us, just to, just to make the place look good. But, what was that? A little flash of something. Was it the Matzos? No, they're okay. And, wasn't them. Somebody needed water, and then it was taken care of. How are the animals doing? Plenty of food, plenty of water. Same thing, eggs, chicken. Uh, chicken stall right there. Don't have any, but there's meat here, but someone's already called for that meat. So we're still using up the meat as fast as we can make it. Good. It's not rotting away. Um, anything else happen in here? I spent about an hour between episodes. Just Well, I spent an hour just figuring out the crops. But, <laughs> but also, just kind of looking around. I think I got, well, last time I got rid of the trees in front. Got these little birdhouses in there. But I moved the fence. We got the pathway kind of coming a little more straight now. So, looking through... Our archways here looks pretty good. Got our windmills. You're temporary. But what else did I do around here? Our wells are working good right now. We're not doing any slaughtering yet, but is it time to think about that? And you are still right there. Okay. So where am I? Right there. We're at 20. It is time to think about it. And it's also time to think about um, calling up some... If I were to do this, what does it say? Not enough oxen. Okay, that's what I needed to know. It doesn't automatically go and grab some. So two, we can ox a five-year-old bull. Or we can do a couple of... Let's do you guys. Ox you two. Now I clicked on that, but nothing seemed... Oh, there we are. Changed it to ox. Okay. And... Two teams that are very similar in age is what I'm looking for. So, Ox, you two. And call for a second one. Okay. So, as the oxen are turned... Bulls are turned into oxen. Okay. And then they're going to leave. So, that opens up four spaces in here. Otherwise, we've got some cows that are in the five-year range. And a bull. I could protect that one and leave him to sire the next cow shed, which we could place right now. No. We don't have a third fallow field yet that's guaranteed. We only have one and two in these, these three down here. So in that case, let's set you two oldest ones, you four for slaughter. And do we know how much leather comes out of a single cow? Um, cow sheds property, oxen, bull will never be, the last one will never be slaughtered automatically. 25 units of hay. I'm not seeing that here. 
not seeing a number. Sallow marked pigs. Chicken uh, chickens are, are slaughtered at the chicken coop. And no, no sense of numbers. Tannery? Uh, just batches. No numbers. Um, choose the amount of hides to process. Okay. So I guess we wait and find out how many it takes to slaughter. One person enough here? Maybe so. I think so. So that's what we're willing to work on. You probably should get one going there. And we're not going to deal with sheepskin just yet. One batch of how much? That's just it. I don't know what comes out of the first cow. So I guess we're going to watch this carefully and see it work. Hopefully we'll get somebody to hire on. Because I th I'm guessing somebody has to be there before um, Mariana... Mary, Marina? Marina. Hauls the first cow over. That's my guess. Um, could do even one more. I don't know what, what year in Austria of the cows die naturally and I'm guessing if they die of old age we don't get the meat so it doesn't make the trip to the slaughterhouse so we kind of want to keep up with that is my guess all right so use fallow field if available we are building this one next did we get this sheep done we did not we're working on that one okay and the first thousand has been delivered all right we'll leave the rest you're right there okay so the small granary is next okay so i'm just i'm doing a lot of catching up just to make sure that everything not enough flax or hemp and if it's not in the system right now then it's not in the system because we got to get to august to to harvest anything more there's nothing else to thresh so there's only 12 flax sitting here okay and over here there's 24. I'm guessing we need 50 to, to start around. So you ladies, I guess, are relieved of duty for a while. Which means you're still going for a bit. I'll leave you two alone. At the very least, you can be making warm clothes. And as soon as we get a merchant that does broadcloth, we'll bring a 1,000 in to go with the 400. And I'm guessing the 600 sitting out over here. Here? No, I guess you've used a, a bunch of it. Okay, then we have 400 more coming and the 400 that's sitting in there. All right, so you've used 200 of it. All right, that makes sense. And after all of that, that's right, we're storing over here. So after all of that, we've got 60 warm clothes left. So we are selling to our own people and they are buying it. Good. Okay, then. Um, over here, what have we got? A uh, limit of 500. We have quicklime and water. And no sense of a progress bar yet. So there might be a batch size? I don't know. Well, it's not much of a place to see what's happening here. Just a bunch of crates. Though I do have something going on right there. So that might be what we're going to see as far as an animation. When... He comes to work. Supplying resources. We do have two slots available. So two people to watch. And laborers are also trying to help. So we're just not ready yet. Speaking of. And I may get to putting those houses in. I may not. I want to see if we get somebody hired on here. And so we can see this happen. So we do have a person here waiting. But nobody waiting here. Available. Can't choose men or women. Or is that this one? Nope. Can't choose men or women, so it must only be men available. And when you want to hire them. Okay. So no real choices to make there. If I were to do two, then maybe... Maybe that'll increase the odds that somebody will hire. I don't know. Over here, we have a problem. Supply of oxen is disabled. Just because we don't have enough oxen yet. And does the slaughterhouse come into the process of turning bulls into oxen. Don't know. But eventually we'll get these guys going. You are still waiting for another person. Okay. So, waiting to see this. Waiting to see this. 
Otherwise, let's think about a neighborhood here and some housing to supply some jobs out here. So that road is starting to look really good. We're starting to establish where it goes. I'd like to kick it in a little bit and get it out over here. We can do that by dropping a tree right there. Um, could even stub the fence out a little bit if we wanted to. It's going to kick over a little further as this all starts to go in. What have I got here? Got a couple of benches just to make sure that the pathway doesn't come through here. Otherwise, oh, this is another warehouse. So I set a warehouse in here and some benches in front. Okay, trees in the back. Good. I'm trying to remind myself what I did last time in between episodes. So if I want to kick you guys out a little bit, eventually the path is going to come out around this. Yeah. Let's put a tree of some kind. You guys are pines, right? thought I went in with pines here. Tree seedling. <laughs> it's a secret what I put in. I think I put in pines rather than spruce. So let's just do that. Grab a pine tree. You are right there. Oh, and you're already through here. Let's put another one in right there. Okay, the road is going to kick out here now. Come through. So I probably don't have to do anything there. You probably will stay right in the middle. And you'll track, at least to this point, and have to thread between these because they can't go up through here and get through. But at this point, they're going to immediately turn and go right through the uh, the hay drying area to get out the map here. So we'll have to maybe fence this area or something and kind of guide the road along so that they carve the pathways the way we want to. You did so. Your growth is really stunted, though, compared to that, compared to that. So, yeah, not a lot is going to happen over here in the sunflower field. And you are a buckwheat field, and you are a potato field. So there's there's food for us. Buckwheat is food for the animals. We've got barley over here, which will be animals and or... Um, eventually alcohol i'm looking at my sparse field here what is going on we've got plenty of nutrients this is wheat wheat needs let's go here fallow wheat needs 50 and we've got 40. now normally if there's not enough nutrients to get a exclamation point over it and it won't let you even plant it how come it let me plant it? How come I didn't get the warning? But even then, this one is going to be fallow next. Meaning, we're still in that, that issue of these fields weren't meant for this use at this point, And we're forcing it to happen in order to start a whole new cycle. So that's going to fallow out next time. Get all caught up again. And then we'll start the cycle over and it will work out fine. But we're going to be thin on that last year of these guys. Okay. Did we hire over here? We did. And we pause. You are over here grabbing a cow? I think you are. And you are sneaking in over here. What you doing? You are going to work. Okay. But you are slaughtering a cow. Okay, let's watch how this works. We called you, gave a whistle. The cow is sneaking in the back door instead of traveling through the middle of town like I was hoping. Yeah, that kind of works. Okay, so traveling through town, heading over here to your final resting place. We don't want to know what goes on in there, but we're waiting 200 hides. Okay, so one cow... 200 hides 200 meat to 100 tallow all right so we need beef in the markets before we get overwhelmed with rotting meat so 200 is the batch size that's what i've been waiting to find out and let's get two batches three batches going of 200 each okay which means we need now another round of salt and bark. 
A thousand per. Okay. So now we're starting to get some more information. You guys need to be making more bark. We've got 2,000 bark here. Probably should have 4,000 at a time. Uh, like so. Do we have room for more storage? There's more than 10,000. No, that's right at 10,000. But we could very well put in 2,000 bark just to have a round available. It was only 1,000 per? 1,000 per. Bark 1,000 of 2,000. Oh, so we're still waiting on more bark. It's 2,000 per round. Okay. Now, I don't get to say how much gets stored in here. It's all based upon what the particular batch needs, just like the brick works. Same sort of, of concept. So you don't get to choose what you're storing in here. Okay, so you're making 4,000. Let's. You're close enough to grab from two. So we'll set you for 4,000. And maybe get 2,000 sitting in a warehouse right here. Just for backup storage. Um, seems like bark was landing in here as well. Yeah, there's 5,000 bark sitting here. Okay, so we're good. And you are set up by Carter. You are. And by hands... Sure, let's apply that to all. And you are preferably not men. And apply to all. But we're not actually hiring in the warehouse worker. Not necessary. Okay. Um, so you have slaughtered. Or is it 100 per? Let's pause and think about that. It was 200, but I think you're going to go get a second cow. So it must be 100 per. I'm thinking it is. Okay. So where are you working now? You're working at the tannery. Cool. So it's 100 per. In that case, let's make our batches right there. Now, I guess we got to recalculate again, but we do have 100 available. Okay, so that's three animals worth. So in that case, let's change this order to pulling this guy off and only do three animals at a time. So there's no chance of supplies rotting away. I think we just had another cow brought in. Yep, now we're at 200 hides, 200 meat, and 100 should be 200 tallow okay so pausing here because i want to make sure we don't lose this um it's probably convenient to have the firewood out here isn't it probably is i'm just going to put meat here beef beef here because it fits this so for this house to go and get firewood it's right here or it's right one of these right there yeah I feel like it does need to stay here do I put a second little market stall here it's kind of a nice little area and that worked out really well there would one work right there or is that just cramming it in too tight? Market stall. Oh, that's the archway. The archway has its own building. Yeah. So spin you around. So you're probably not going to fit there unless I really cram you in. And I'd have to take the tree down to do it. Oh, the tree's clear down over there. Yeah, that won't work. Okay. So that doesn't do it. If I were to put another market stall in, it's just going to have to be over here on this side. And that's just because this area, is, well, this area is getting a little bit far away from some of it. It probably isn't, but I want to do it anyway. <laughs> um, can we use it to shape our pathway? I never really did get back into the idea of shaping the pathway. I would like to see an oval or a circle of pathing in here. And now that we're using this, though we're still not going to be using it very much. Though we will have somebody coming to work every day, but he's just going to be going from this house, cutting through the woods, and going into that, into that door right there. And then he'll come out and get water. And then he'll go home. So we're still not going to get a real pathway here. 
unless I give them something to make them walk on regularly, like market stalls. But that's really pushing it out there. I don't know. Let's put a market stall in over here. And make you... Like that? Where's T? One touch that way. That is the pathway. At least it gets them into this general area. So you got to be something like that. And... That's about as close as it gets. Let's do that. Market stall. And transfer the orders from the other stalls. Uh, by hand, by labor. Now, these ladies can do their own work. So apply to all. And... Apply to all. Yeah. Okay. So that's good there. And you are going to have firewood. Because I want you to have beef. And can I do that yet? Beef. Right there. Now. Do the houses by tallow. I don't know. Is there any reason for them to make their own candles or something? Or is that just an industrial product for us? Let's put some in there and find out. Well, let's see if it's on the list. It's not on the list. The soap is that we would make from it. Okay. Um, let's get salt up in this end. So basic, important supplies. What else would that be? We have chicken meat and eggs over in the other one. We close... So you are chicken, eggs, this one. Both meats, and eventually I guess mutton would be up in here as well. And clothes. Okay, so you can be firewood, salt, and you can be warm clothes and shoes. And let's see, shoes right there. Okay, and worker. May, why didn't that hire on its own? I thought I transferred. I didn't transfer. I didn't transfer a, a number, a quantity, because we're not on seasonal hiring. Okay. So someone will grab that job. I'm sure there's somebody out here just hurting for a job. And they'll stock up some more basics over here. Okay, so we're covered then as far as selling the meat in this area. Beef will probably be on its way here real soon. Let's slow down because I need to get beef into here somewhere. And where is that? It needs to be in one that is perishable. Um, that one is. The difference is beetroots. You're not perishable. You are. Carrots. Small granary is done. Garlic. Horseradish. What do I not want to represent here? We're not going to have apples for a long time. So I guess we'll go that route. So beef's going to be over here. And that is, well, three of the four are perishables. Okay, so beef is on its way there, and you have grabbed hides, the first batch. We're having to kind of reset everything. Let's make sure you are by laborers. You are. Let's bring a second worker in. Okay, the hides are already starting to go bad, very slowly though, and we're still waiting for someone. The stuff was here, but when I changed the batch size, it's like... It's got to all recalculate or something now. Yeah. Let's see how well that works. Um, back over here. You. Production limits. We have made our first lime. So we're doing it. We're not doing it at the moment because there's not an up arrow here. If there was... You are buying food, so you're not working right now. If there was, we might be able to see the animation of what happens in there. But not at the moment. You're just probably grabbing lime to move into the warehouse. Yeah. No. Lime's going somewhere else. Probably going up to the tannery. Okay, well, that's a long hike. Yeah, so... Only cowhides are on the way over. So, what you doing? You're supplying resources. You're grabbing a cart. 
uh, hay dryer's done, and I need to get into this small granary. You just grab the hides or something. There you go. So I brought 100 hides over. <clears throat> Put the cart away. Then... Can you get to work using these supplies that are already there? Uh, messenger from Marefa. Boom, boom, boom. Water's in place. Hides are in place. Bark's in place. We're starting to. Okay. And you're going to grab a cart and go get some more bark? No, you're going to grab some more hides. Interesting. Tanning until November. Oh, that batch is going. I see. And it's going to tan until November. It's a six-month process. Okay. Well, we got to see that happen. Let's slow down, talk to Marifa. And what are we doing with you guys? Over here, we're still waiting for the sheepskin and the potatoes. And the potatoes did make it in. It did. So you guys are leaving. Okay. Those trades are done. All right. So over here, Marifa, your turn. And you have wheat to sell us. Do we ever need to buy wheat again? We only have 800 here. 800 there. You've got your roughly 600. You've got your 300. You look like wheat. You're barley. You're wheat. So I try to make sure to have a wheat crop every year. And try to make sure to have a sunflower crop every year. And then where possible a potato crop every year and a barley or a buckwheat crop every year between the seven or so fields um so you're making wheat you're making barley which could be used as chicken food if we needed to your wheat as well but something went really wrong there okay um i guess that looks like there was probably 80 percent of the nutrients we needed and that that could be 80 percent of a crop i guess so okay um over here how we doing little sparse little holes here and here here and there which probably has more to do with how few people were available to do the work and how late the work was it has not nothing to do with nutrients because they're all starting at a hundred percent yeah I'm already using it up okay um, you're still angry because oxen are a problem so Oxen are disabled. Oh, supply for oxen. Okay. I, yeah, I got it. Which means we want probably a second person in here now for off season. So let's do that. Okay. So, yeah, that's taken care of now. Whew, in time, too. Were you starting to build them? You are not building. One more order in queue. So are you delivering? Are we that close to having them brought over and there isn't enough water yet? Where are we getting water? Where are we getting water? Ooh. Yeah. Platform, where are you? There. Platform. Emergency. Get the platform in. And well, right there. Get that in even faster. That's a quick one. That would probably be done faster. 1,040 and 408. Get the platform in. <laughs> okay, yeah. Water, food, kind of important. So where is the carpenter actually physically at right now? He is delivering the oxen. Oh, boy. This could be... Okay, so let's... An emergency run of... By Carter. Can I move... 500... To... I don't know what I've got it set to take. It is 500, okay. If I were to do this move you to here just to get that going okay otherwise you are just not at work yet and you're not going to be there for a long long time we might lose a team of oxen it's possible there's no water and food sitting there so yeah that might be a big mistake 
It's possible. And mistakes happen. You just learn from them. Okay. Um, over here, Limeworks. Where am I at, by the way? I'm 50-some minutes into this, and I haven't laid down a single house. But it's been a fun adventure learning all these things. So you are taking another rest. Yeah, didn't get to see this happening. Okay, so you're there. We saw how the slaughterhouse works. We've got meat, and of all the meat that we had slaughtered, there's only 100 left. So it is being quickly moved into the markets. And I wanted to do that one over here as well. So in place of apples, we go that route again no right there all right in place of apples we're going to put beef and you are grabbing beef right now you're, you're going to get a whole hundred of it perfect okay so that's good we've got six months to go to wait for the tannery before we dare slaughter anymore and we've already slaughtered our next one so there's going to be a hundred cow hides sitting there so I can see the advantage of we're in queue. We're not necessarily processing it. Let's go to 200 and see if we can absorb that. Is that possible? I think it is. I think it is. I think we made it. So I need to make sure we're not doing any more slaughtering. How do we do that? We only have 16. There should be no more automatic ones. So I guess the four that we called for, even though I unchecked it, it was in the queue and it, it happened. Okay. Um, but we're not calling for any more. As long as we stay below 20, we shouldn't automatically do any more. Okay. Um, do we still have two oxen in here? So we're going to be down to 14. So we've got plenty of, of time, at least the six months before we have to think about this again. Okay, so I think we're fine there. You did deliver the oxen, or you were very close to it. Uh, we have water on its way and hay on its way. The oxen are here. Any sense of, okay, condition? That's the plow's condition. No sense of the animal's condition. Okay, well, they're on the way. Here's the hay, and the water is right there she's hand carrying it in Frosina, Fr Frosina is hand carrying it in will she get there in time and you are buying food you're still not working <laughs> well the food's going to show up and t an ox died of thirst yeah that one didn't make it oh well hard lesson learned you don't get a lot of time after you make a mistake. You really don't. I wonder if this one does survive. If it'll be taken back and another one will be put into, you know, added to them. But let's hope that she can get inside there. And it will trigger in time. Right there. Okay. Are you going to make it? So one of two... One half. Drag an ox from a cow shed. Okay. Right click, force repair. <laughs> force repair. <laughs> okay. Well, they should be able to make that happen. Yeah. Force repair. So I need one more ox. Okay. So you. Bull, eight months, we could. And bowl two years. We'll do that one. We'll probably eat this one. And that will be the bowl for the next cow shed. Alright, we'll take that off. Okay, that one is aging. Alright, well, lesson learned over there. But I think by the time next sewing season's done, that will all be sorted out. And we'll be okay. Um, we have no more trades to worry about, right? We went through all of Marifa. I want to say we did. Marifa. 
No, we did not. We talked about wheat and we never came back here. You guys leave in 18 days. Let's get... Let's get another thousand wheat coming in. We have two teams working the windmills. We'll keep them going. Broadcloth, there you are. 1,000 evens us out. All right, that's coming in. So that's, what, about 300? 300, so we're at 14 and a half now. Uh, warm clothes, textile, honey. Honey is, we have no honey in town. 400, let's just do it, deal. So lots of honey coming in. Leaving. We have lime in storage now. Can sell for 20. Dried fish, nothing in storage. Interesting. Sunflower oil, nothing in storage. Buckwheat flour, 1400 in storage. Let's sell 1000 of that. Come on now, there we go. And that's why we're buying the wheat. So deal, and let's move a thousand into this trader real quick. Uh, flour. And temporary. And sallow, we were buying, not selling. Okay. Chicken eggs, we've got just enough for ourselves. Horseshoe salt, we could deal. So let's sell you 3,000 salt. We'll sell you the 1257 that you want. Okay, we'll go that route. Deal. And let's move into here. Well, you got to stay very carefully within this range or you lose it. So 1247? Pause. Is that what I said? 1257. Okay, that could have been disaster. 1257. Temporary. Perfect. And are we done? Salt, iron, metal parts, flax. We're done. How are we at metal parts now? We've got 128. All right, we'll leave it. We're using it now, making the plows. Okay, so that takes care of them, and that probably takes care of me. So I think I'm going to, in between episodes, kind of figure out a neighborhood in here. Because there's too much... Now that the town is, is actually really kind of coming to life, there's a lot to see. And I'm not just building this to get to an end so that the series can end. I'm building it to watch life happen. So I want to see how that works and how the cows work and all of that. So if I spend an hour not getting anything done toward progress, that means I've spent an hour enjoying the town. And that works for me too. So I will catch you guys next episode. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.